Let's take a look at a theorem involving 2 by 2 matrices and in complex eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So if we've got a 2 by 2 matrix and it's got a complex eigenvalue a minus bi, and since this is complex number, b can't be 0, and first of all we have to realize that a plus bi is also going to be an eigenvalue, but just for purposes of keeping things simple, we'll focus on the one that has the negative imaginary part. And then that's going to have an associated eigenvector. What it's going to be is that A has to be similar to a matrix of this form, A negative B, B A. Well, I say of that form, but it's actually more than that because that A and B are the same A and B from that eigenvalue. Why is this important? Well, this is sort of similar. I shouldn't use the word similar when we're using it in the theorem, but this has properties like a symmetric matrix. It's not quite symmetric because the B is a negative B when you reflect it across. But the fact that it's so close, it has such a close form to a symmetric matrix means there's things you can do with that. So being similar to it in the linear algebra sense is an important thing. And further, it's very easy to figure out how to make that similarity happen. A has to be PCP inverse. Of course, that's what similarity means. But the first column is the real part of the eigenvector. The second column is the imaginary part of the eigenvector. I'm not going to prove this theorem. It's not amazingly difficult, but I don't know if the proof is all that enlightening. However, let's go through an example here. Let's take this matrix 5, negative 2, 1, 3, and let's go ahead and figure out what the eigenvalues and eigenvectors are. So I'm going to take the determinant of 5 minus lambda, negative 2, 1, 3 minus lambda, which is going to be 5 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda plus 2. So that would be lambda squared minus 8 lambda plus 15 plus 2. So to figure out the eigenvalues, we're going to figure out where that's going to equal 0. So if lambda squared minus 8 lambda equals a negative 17, I can complete the square by adding 16 to both sides. So lambda minus 4 squared is equal to a negative 1, which means that Lambda minus 4 is plus or minus i. Lambda is equal to 4 plus or minus i. Now, I'm only going to focus on the one that more easily matches this form. So I'm going to have 4 minus i. And let's figure out our eigenvectors for that. So I'm going to take the matrix 5 minus 4 minus i, negative 2, 1, 3 minus 4 minus i. That's going to give me 1 plus i, negative 2, 1, negative 1 plus i. As I did a couple of times in the last video, I'm just going to worry about the bottom row there. So, x1 plus negative 1 plus i x2 has to be 0. So that means that x1 equals 1 minus i x2. And so I can take as an eigenvector I can take 1 for x2 and 1 minus i for x1. Okay, so what does that mean in terms of this theorem? 
Well, my C matrix, again, I'm going to take my lambda is equal to 4 minus i. My C matrix is the A minus B. So that's the 4 and negative 1. And then this is also the same 4. But this has the opposite signs. That's a positive 1. And so that is my C matrix. Again, very close to a symmetric matrix. My A matrix, well, my A matrix is the one I started with, the 5, negative 2, 1, 3. But the P matrix is what I take with the real parts of the eigenvector and the imaginary parts of the eigenvector. The real parts are 1, 1. The imaginary parts are negative 1 and 0. So with these three matrices, we should have A is equal to PCP inverse. And because it's a 2 by 2, and in fact has determinant 1, it's really easy to figure out the inverse. However, I'm too lazy for that, and I'll do the trick that we've done before to check that A equals PCP inverse. I can check that A times P equals P times C. So, A times P would be 5, negative 2, 1, 3 times 1, negative 1, 1, 0. That's going to give me 5 minus 2 is 3, negative 5 plus 0, 1 plus 3 is 4, and negative 1 plus 0. Okay, then PC P was 1, negative 1, 1, 0 times C was 4, negative 1, 1, 4 4 minus 1 is 3 Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. 4 plus 0 is 4. Negative 1 plus 0, negative 1. And there we go. Both ways I get the same thing. So we found these matrices. The theorem seems to work. Again, one example is not a proof, but I'm not going to go through a formal proof for this.